What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be talking about how you can make all your routes look the exact same. So we're going to be talking about a fade route, a comeback route, and then a comeback and go route, and how you guys can make all these routes look the same, what you guys can do with a peak back technique, pad level, hip drop, and all the things to make you an improved route runner. So I hope this video gives you guys some value, hope this helps you guys out, but also, fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you want to learn how to read defenses, check out that very first link in the description of how wide receivers can read defense, a 40-minute long video, and it's going to be 50% off today only, okay? So there's a new video we're offering on our site how wide receivers can read defense if you want to learn about releases when to use those releases be able to read defenses like a quarterback and when to use those moves at the top of the route to keep timing on a play check out that very first link in the description fellas 50 percent off-site sale today only on that product hope we get you guys on it soon let's get started so we're gonna be looking at this route here from rondale moore so it's a goal line fade right so we're trying to win this race to the back corner inside shade db so let's play at full speed so he attacks his leverage gives him a move and then it's just a race back to this spot right so when i have this type of a route I know that I want to be able to just get back here I want to try to hold him to the inside he's not going to backpedal on the goal line so I attack his leverage keep my space and then give him a move so this is mainly going to build we're not going to spend too much time on this route this is mainly going to build on the next route by Diggs, where it's going to be a comeback so when he comes off the line here again does a great job of squaring him up giving him a move and then it's just a race to this back corner so the main thing I want to focus on right here is his eyes he's got that explosive release we attack the DB's leverage we try to get him on his heels and now it's just a race to the back corner so when he gives those eyes this is the point in time that we're going to focus on with every single route that we're looking at today. It's about how to make your routes look the same, okay? So this is kind of the base thing that we're going to dictate everything off of, right? So let's watch this full speed. So great job attacking, great job racing to the back corner of the end zone. Now let's take a look at this second clip from Diggs here. Attacks his leverage, eyes, then he just snaps this thing right back off and runs a comeback, right? So now this is all about making it look the same. So kind of the same situation inside Shade DB. Maybe we've been running a fade. Maybe we've been backside on this play. Maybe I've been setting this up. That's something that you receivers have to understand is that when you're not getting the ball, you still got to run this route like you are getting the ball because it all sets up. Everything that you do off that line of scrimmage, everything that you do to, to that DB dictates another route. You got to make everything be able to look the same and you got to have this DB completely confused. You got to make him guess the whole entire time because he's playing a guessing game and that's why making your routes look the same is so important because he can never guess right. If you make it all look the same, maybe he'll guess it right, but maybe it's tw two out of 10 times, right? That means eight times I'm open and I could be getting the ball, right? So now, Diggs does a good job of attacking him and squaring him up. So now when I got to run this comeback, I want to make it look the same. So what does he do? He gives those eyes to that DB. He's making him think that this quarterback, Cousins, is just putting this thing to the back corner of the end zone, and we're trying to race there. And that's what gets this DB to stop. That's what gets him to hesitate, and especially down here in the goal line, fellas. Dur middle of the field is a little bit different, right? You got to be really m much more of a salesman. You got to have some speed to it. But down here in the goal line, it's just about giving that great look with your eyes, maybe changing a little bit of tempo. And you see that gets that DB to peak in that backfield, right? Because he's expecting that ball. He thinks he played this thing perfectly. He thinks that Dig gave, Diggs gave a weak release off the line. Uh, I'm going to get hands and I'm going to be just sitting right on this thing and beat him to the back and, and just win this jump ball to the back corner. Diggs ain't the biggest guy in the world, so I'd go up and get this play, right? So his eyes start to cheat in the backfield and as soon as his eyes start to cheat, he's, Diggs ain't thinking about that, obviously, but as soon as we this DB's eyes start to cheat, that's when Diggs makes that decision to snap this thing off. He breaks this thing off and now this is wide open in the red zone, especially when you have a quarterback who could put the ball on a dime. So if you want to be reliable as a receiver, you want to be valuable to the team, get separation in the red zone. Because if you get separation in the red zone, that quarterback just got to put it to a spot and we could just win that race to it. So that's a great job by Diggs making this route look the exact same. I want to make everything that I do, no matter what it is, from slant to out. I, somebody was asking me, oh, how do I run a slant? How do I run a five-yard out route? It's like, dude, you got to sell vertical for that, like three steps, four steps. Same idea right here. I'm trying to sell vertical with those eyes, trying to give that peak back. Then I'm just snapping this thing off and winning that race back to the ball. A little stutter from a DB. If I accelerate off a break and I continue to pump my arms, that's going to make me win this race to the ball. And then this is wide ass open, especially down here on the goal line. That's a great job by Diggs. Watch the thing again, full speed one more time. Great job giving this little stutter fake, attack that leverage, win that race, then snap it off, make that DB thing fade with those eyes. All right, so now we're looking at this route from Antonio Brown. So now it's going to be a little bit of a peek back, a comeback and go route. Okay, so now this is how third way this can build, right? So these are three different routes that all look the exact same. Again, not so much off man, but inside shade, right? So what do you think I got to do? I think I want to freeze him to the inside, make him think that it's a race to the back corner, snap it off to a comeback, then purse up vertical. So we're here. So 
kind of freeze him with that split release, give a peek back, come back, then put that stick down, and then we're catching this thing up to the back corner. That's a great job by AB. So again, gives that little split release, freezes him to the inside. We want to just hold this DB to the inside because that's the thing. What, uh, Especially off man, inside shape, whatever it is, to make all this look the same, why is this guy inside leverage? Because he doesn't want to let you cross his face. If you try to just split and cross his face, he's going to get hands, he's going to seal the inside, he's going to try to force you to the sideline the best he absolutely can because that's where his help is. He doesn't have any help to the inside. Man across the board most likely. We know quarterback might be getting a little bit of pressure right here, so I got to give him something quick and I got to get up into this route. So again, what does AB do that's very similar to Diggs, very similar to Moore? He's giving those eyes. We have that peak back, right? Again, making this DB think it's just a race to that back corner so he overcommits, right? So now what does he do? He snaps this thing off, right? So a three-step break and then he gives just one, two, three to the comeback right here and he gives those eyes on that comeback. Make it all look the same. This looks exactly like Stephon Diggs' route. This looks exactly like Rondale Moore's route from the very beginning, right? So it's got to give those eyes over the shoulder, selling this thing. I have that violent drop down, and I don't want to be here. Let's talk about this because we want to have some explosion to that comeback, right? So when I have this peek back, what a lot of guys will do is they'll peek back, and they'll start to lean back. They'll start to reach out for this break, and they'll be slow. AB does a great job of dropping in that explosive position, and it's a sudden drop. There's no indicator that he's going to drop right there. It's I'm getting a fade. I just want to snap this thing off. Fade, snap it off suddenly. And how we drop suddenly is by having violent hips, making sure those steps are actually like powerful steps. We're concerned with creating energy with those steps. And then he takes this thing off one, two, three, and even looks back on this comeback route like we're expecting the ball right here. Make that DB think he's playing this thing well. I put that foot in the ground and then I'm up vertical. That's a great job. And again, you see the separation we're able to get in the red zone. That's not the most separation in the middle of the field, but I guarantee you if we're in the middle of the field, AB's gone. He's 10 yards from this guy right now because of how well he sold that route. But in the red zone, fellas, you got to be able to make things look the same. It's no different than running like a slant. You run a slant, you're snapping those eyes, you're coming off that stick fast, you're there, and then maybe you got a whip route. It looks the same. You just snap that thing off with your hips and you're back out. It's all about deception. It's all about making your routes look the exact same, especially when we're in tight, we're in the red zone, goal line, whatever situation it may be. It's watch the thing again, full speed one more time. Great job freezing him to the inside. Sell fade, sell comeback, then break this thing up to that back corner. That's a great route by Antonio. Brown. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to leave those in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And again, fellas, how wide receivers can read defenses, 50% off sale. Very first link in the description, fellas, if you guys want to learn all about defenses, how you can structure your routes efficiently, keep timing with the quarterback, and improve your football IQ as a wide receiver, check out that very first link in the description. I'll see you guys next time.